So I actually just came and finished eating dinner. I literally put this on just because I want to record an outfit that I'm wearing most of the day. Anyway, let's start with where I left off, which was Thursday. Okay, so Thursday weather was somewhat of a lie. Um, well, not fully, well, lie. Shit, I want one. Uh, <laughs> With some of the lies somewhat truthful um it did rain not as much as it expected it um i i was tempted to go to the movies that day on thursday but i was like you know what i plan saturday let's go saturday um uh, even because i had also one to plan and i did conquer finish illustration that day and i i did it it was early morning by the time i finished partially because i took breaks between when i was painting because i couldn't send my butt but too long where I got irritated and short um what do you call it you know, um short short tension or something like that um to, while painting it so I because I wanted to draw a color and marker so instead I instead of painting with markers I'm now doing that now um painting drawing with mark coloring with markers I do sketches anyway next day Thursday Friday Friday the weather was exactly to the T it rained the whole day and so for that day i managed to didn't record it but i managed to change my clothes from winter to spring and that's about it and pack away some of the clothes that i bought recently in souvenirs yep, that's it. and also i try to do as much of the man yeah draw as much of the manga as possible and today and continuing between today thursday to today i've been working on the character history of the characters of the, one of the mangas that still doesn't have a title <laughs> um, the third one, the English English one um, yeah, third one, English one anyway, that one, I finally compared to what I started out uh, when I first started out I getting the relationship between the parents down because when I first started out the first and second draft pretty much the relationship was like oh, they, they know each other because they're kids play in the same band and then the parents also became friends and that's it but when I went when I was writing the third third it was something that there was a deeper connection and so and I liked it so now I'm building that deeper connection and, and again I'm enjoying it and so they're going like back way back the, the parents go way back all the way to down like childhood not all of them know each other from childhood but most of them like kind of know each other since childhood and I'm like reconnecting the, the dots like that anyway uh now moving on to today, so I'm going to cancel and restart it. Today was much of a full day. I am actually really tired right now. I'm ready to fall asleep. That's how tired I am. Um, so I woke up early and I woke up early enough to at least do my clothes launch. I finally did it. As you, know, as you can see, the sofa and the shit, she changed, finally changed, it was stinking. I wanted to do it earlier but I never got around to it, um, especially because I wanted to do the comforters. Um, yeah, no, I finally got around to that, doing doing the sheets and comforter. And whatever little bit of remaining clothes I had left. Yeah, so, I did, uh, then moving on to finally, finally, finally watch the movie that I was wanted to which, see, which was Watashi no Shirase Kekon. Finally remembered the movie. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm so happy watching it. Hold on. Uh, pause. <coughs> okay. <coughs> uh, yeah, of course, I went to see in Toho Theater Cinemas. And, okay, this is not the movie I watched, but you get it. So, so I went to watch it in Toho Cinemas. And I was, I'm tempted to watch the, also watch, the, well, I'm going to four. Not really. I'm also tempted to watch this movie. Um, if you know, don't know, Mari Bros. This is definitely going to be in Japanese, but uh, I'm interested. I mean, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Oh yeah, I was really happy. Okay, so I knew that I would not understand 85% of the movie, and I was correct. <laughs> but I knew it because I knew what was going to go happen and what was going to go on because I did read the manga, and this was why I wanted to watch the movies. And I was like, okay, the effects may or may not blow me. Also, I noticed the wig, and I couldn't help look at the wig every time he appears on the screen. I'm like... Okay, the wig um, drifts between either being cheap looking because it's colored and 
look good looking because it, you can see somewhat somewhere where it's like okay this part looks good but this part looks definitely like um cosplay like so it was like between the two um it was keep on drifting between the two and i'm like all right um the wig is not the best but i did like this the cg in effect and um that was the most exciting part was the cg effect it was okay um but it did get my heart pumping so i'm like okay <laughs> um it was like uh most like the like um the um history defining kind of cg it was actually just okay you could definitely tell cg but it was decent enough it was like all right it's believable i could let it pass kind of cg and i really liked it um the storyline was a blend of two storylines mixed into one because when i was watching i was like okay this definitely didn't happen at least not the timer because they also shortened the time so i was like because again there's base it's based off a manga but what they did i think it did a good job i think they did a good job blending the two not only the two storylines but also shortening it although that is if you're okay with a lot of um narration which is what you'll get because you get narration in the beginning narration in the middle and you definitely get the the characters saying their thoughts like um bella swan if I, if that's the example i have on top of my head um, both the characters, both the protagonists, the guy and the girl. I keep forgetting their names, but anyway, yeah. So that's about it for the movies. And after the movies, I'm like, all right. I thought I swear that I like I had for breakfast the soup, a fruit, and two pieces of cookies. I'm this is gonna fill me up. This is gonna keep the whole day. Nope. Soon as the movie was finished, and I forgot my water. I had to buy a bottle of water. I bought a bottle of water, two origanis, origiri, origiri, and um, low carb cookies, and I ate the one um so instead of since i had time the movie in a two and i had like until four until my appointment i was like all right i'll walk it there and so I, that's what i did i walked it there um and it was only like a 30 no 50 minute walk 45 minute walk actually from from cinemas to the to where i got my piercings which um if you want to know where i got my piercings i got it from hold on holes um, Miyawaki Tattoo, Miyawaki Tattoo, that's where I got it. They had two locations, one is Osaka, another one is somewhere else, I don't remember, it's in the uh, website. Uh, if I remember, I'll put it in the description box below. Um, so yeah, I was, so on the way back, I went to the Onigiri's, um, again, when reading the title, I think this, I didn't remember this before, but I'm mentioning this now. I'm reading the title, then reading the English title and Japanese titles as two different titles. I'm like, all right, or similar titles, but their translation is different and weird. So it's, it's like kind of like, eh, is this mayonnaise or soy sauce? It's very confusing, but it's actually both. It's uh, mayonnaise mixed soy sauce chicken. Oh, I get it. It tastes good. Anyway, moving on. So I ate that on the way to it, and then at the when I got reached there, I ate the rest of the onigiri, the tuna, my favorite tuna mayo onigiri, and the low carb cookies. And then finally, I went, got to the um, when he because when you get there, he wants it to be personal. Um, so you have to wait in front of the family mart. Um, well, I had to wait in front of the family mart until he called back. Um, because I called him to the note to know to tell him I'm going. And then when I arrived, I called, um, I waited for him to call me at two o'clock, and he did. And then we had it was a quite some time. It was there, it was at two, and I didn't leave until 5 30. Um, it does not take them technically take that long to do the, the piercing. It took so long because I was talking, he was talking back and forth. Um, well, well mostly him was in some talking and it was nice listening to his story about because I came from New York. He's like, oh, he went to New York one time for a New York uh, convention, um, for, for tattooing. And it was, <laughs> it was rough on him because, um, he did get drunk and his friends like played pranks and fall over him. And it was a very funny story. Um, and he, uh, he showed me the pictures. It was, it was really interesting. And he was fun to talk to, basically. And he was also, he went to New Jersey, and so on and so forth. And he, he had fun in New York, but it was pretty tough. I think mostly because he was, um, um, but yeah, it was, yeah, he'd say it was fun, but it's mostly, uh, tough, um, tough. I think it's mostly tough because of his friends playing prank on him. <laughs> also, oh, also because he didn't know English well, so I, I can understand how it was hard. And he also understands that New York is also expensive, so that's great. <laughs> um, Osaka is a bit cheap in, in, between uh, Tokyo and uh, New York. 
but anyway, it was a um, fun time. And then finally, when after talking for, I feel like probably an hour or so, or 45 minutes, I don't know, uh, finally went to get my piercings. Well, first, before that, because he's signing off, we, I chose, I told him where I want the on my ears. Um, and then he told, he explained how we pick out the earrings again between, um, between our conversation between each other. And he also asked me questions about like what I like about Saka, um, or Japan, what I'm doing now, what I did before, and what I'm doing now, what I'm going to do when I come back, um, New York, if I'm going to come back to Japan. And right now I have absolutely no plans. So I want to come back, but right now, again, I have absolutely no plans. Um, <laughs> clearly. I did it spontaneously, kind of. I did have to reserve ahead of time, but kind of spontaneously. Um, I had a thought, but then the thought disappeared. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, piercing. That's what I get. Now we're going back to the piercing and the actual method of piercing. And you know what? This one hurts, but it didn't hurt so bad. Like at the beard, like oh, this is not bad. It's like psh, I'm like ah, uh, okay. And then the squeeze on the clamp, that one, that one hurts when you're putting on it, like, alright, whatever. And then this one, this one hurts again, but it hurts a little bit more than this one, but it felt this around the same time. It was the, this one, um, this one, yeah, this one, it was like, oh my gosh, it's, okay, so, at first, alright, it's almost like okay, my shit, it's not me. Um, so at first it feels like the same pain as this one, but you because this one is near your eardrum, you could hear it. So you hear a crunch, and and it just like sent a oh, a signal to your brain. It's like, oh, oh no, bitch. Hello, hello. Yeah, this hurts. This hurts. Hello, hello. Yeah, this hurts. And that's what it kind of sent those sense to my brain. It's like, ah, that hurts. And I'm like, <laughs> so yeah. It was a painful process on um, the last one, but I was like, all right, got through it. Never again. <laughs> this was enough. This was the amount. I want to have I want no more piercings and I can't say but definitely I am a woman of my word because I did promise my mother I'll wait until I am living on my own paying my own rent I have been doing that for two and a half years she never said anything about coming back um <laughs> yeah she did I totally forgot about that part but anyway um but yeah so I finally got my piercings now and plus I'm not looking for our bright glow anymore so yeah I finally got my, my piercings that I was wanted anyway that's about it for me um, I was supposed to cook actually Thursday, Friday, but I was too lazy, so now I have to cook tomorrow. Anyway, don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow or the following week, uh, but hopefully uh, it will be a slow one. Well, anyway, bye. Okay, so I just realized I didn't talk much about what the story, the movie is about. So the two storylines are mixing up and I'm tired, so I'm going to try my best to summarize this. Is um the first storyline which I know well is um the beginning where they're getting married. Well, she just got kicked out of her abuse home and got married. That was a very rushed part. Um, and she um what was she was getting, uh, she was sent to get married to a person who her sister was initially engaged to, but because of the bad rumors, her sister didn't want to, so they sent her um the first daughter, which was abused and pretty much abandoned by the father. But abused by her stepmother and step stepsister, half sister. I think step half sister. And then um what happened after that? Um oh yeah, then the the husband and her eventually become close. That was also extremely rushed. Mo again, most of that was a lot of um talk over. But yeah. She eventually got kidnapped and she was trying to be persuaded to break up with her husband. And she said no. And that is like generally the first one. And that happens. And that wraps up around the three fourths within the movie. And then there's some more in the movie. And the, th the rest of the movie is the next plot storyline where there is a problem going on within the city. And it's, I say it's tied in, kind of, within the story. But um, again, it's more spaced out, first of all. Um, and also, it doesn't happen until the plot of that A, B plot. In the manga, which is like a plot in this um in the movie, because it happens at the very beginning where they start opening with, with that plot where there's something going on where you see a person, doing some kind of magic trick, and it was very confusing in the beginning, because I was like, what the hell is going on? Um, immediately I didn't understand what was going on, even though I was like, did I walk into the wrong movie? Um, I started questioning, 
double click of questioning until I saw like all the main leads and like no this is definitely the right movie and seeing how that played out I'm like yeah no this is definitely the right movie but anyway um continue and then this disease is trying to affect everyone and turning not just zombies but zom mind control zombies eventually getting up to the police force by then the girl was separated from her husband because she was slowly her problems were slowly woking up she was supposed to be having nightmares again this is so rushed <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It's still a good, okay movie, but the plot um, in which it was so rushed that um, but it, the actors did a good job that you believe it. Um, um so basically, um, so basically is a rush to stop whatever is going on and trying to figure out who started it, who who created it. So that's that B part, um, B part, and it all comes together at the end. Um, I was sitting there wondering, by the way, at the very end, as in crash school and like no one got up i'm like is it is it okay to get up now and it's only till like the very very end the c2 ladies left but no one else got up and thankfully i didn't get up because they shut they had an internet credit screen I'm like okay that makes more sense um thankfully they had an internet credit screen there but there's no possibility no guarantee that they was going to have that one they uh, have that there but it also made the beginning make sense so well for me anyway that's it